James Comer is the chairman of the House Oversight Committee from the great state of Kentucky, and he joins us now. Welcome, Chairman. Thank you for joining us. Again, you were looking for some unredacted emails from National Archives, if memory serves. Did you get them, and are you satisfied with what you got? Well, there are 5,200 emails that Joe Biden used a pseudonym uh, in communication of some form or fashion with, with the government. We've identified this. Now we want these emails and we want the unredacted versions. The National Archives sent 14 of those 5,200 emails yesterday. And I'm sure you're going to be surprised to hear this, Trey. Those 14 really didn't say anything. But yet the media, as soon as we got the emails, the 14 out of 5,200, they said, oh, this is a big nothing burger. So this was another example of the Biden White House coordinating with their friends in the media to paint a false narrative. So, no, we are not satisfied with 14 out of 5,200 emails. Uh, we expect all 5,200 emails. And that's another reason why we've had to go the impeachment inquiry route to try to speed the process up from where these government agencies are stonewalling and obstructing our investigation. Chairman, you're going to need to give me just a second to restart my heart. I, I was shocked okay. to hear that the D.C. media was not interested in a Republican investigation. That's the first time I've ever heard that. All right, bank records, corporate documents, tax returns. What other evidence do you need that you don't currently have? Well, we've subpoenaed bank records from the shell companies. Remember, the problem that the Biden family has and the president has is his family's received over $20 million from foreign nationals, okay? The Biden family and the White House cannot say one thing this family did to receive the $20 million. That is a big red flag with, with every American. The polls show that. Well, next, uh, we want to see the personal bank records because the way the Bidens operated, Trey, is they, uh, with Joe Biden, set up these meetings. They set up phone calls with these foreign nationals who were all bad people needing some type of assistance from the United States government. They were all in trouble. They were being investigated for corruption. They were trying to get sweetheart deals. So once the, the, the meetings took place, Joe Biden communicated with all of these people. Then wires started transferring from those countries to the shell companies, the Bidens. Then according to the banks, the Bidens would then launder the money to, uh, from the shell companies to nine different Biden family members in incremental payments. We want to know what happened with the money once they received, uh, once they were received by the Bidens in their personal account. So we've been doing what we said we were going to do all along. We're following the money. We followed the money from countries like Romania and China to the Biden shell companies to the Bidens individually. Now we're looking at the Bidens' individual personal bank records, and we want to see where they spent that money. And if you look at the laptop tray, there are many instances where uh, people like Eric Sherwin communicated with. Hunter Biden saying, this bill is due for your dads. Who's going to pay for it? So we want to see if, in fact, Hunter Biden was paying for things of value for Joe Biden. Chairman, have you or will you seek the president's own bank records? I, If I heard you correctly, Biden family members asking for the president's records. I assume you have a tax returns already. But, but other records, mm -hmm. asking for those from the president himself, may ratchet things up a bit. Have you done it? Do you plan to do it? Well, it's looking like we're going to be asking for his bank records. I mean, all roads lead to Joe Biden. From day one, this has been an investigation of Joe Biden, not his son. His son is a key central figure because we believe Hunter was the front man for the Biden family influence scheme. We've already proven that this family was influence peddling the media and, and the Biden said that wasn't true. I don't think now... Uh, they're disputing that. They're moving the goalposts, saying, well, now you haven't proven. Yeah, maybe they, maybe the president's son was selling the illusion of access, but Joe Biden never benefited personally from that. So that's why our investigation is now, because there's overwhelming evidence that would point to the fact that Joe Biden was receiving benefits from his family's influence peddling team, and that's where we continue to investigate. Congressman, I want you to remember something your old colleague from South Carolina learned the hard way. The D.C. media never met a Republican investigation that should start and never met a Democrat investigation that should end. 
Uh, it That's is not point. a level playing field where you are working. Thank you for joining us on a Sunday night. All the best to you, Chairman. Thanks for having me, Trey. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.